Shalom. I want to talk briefly about how we, as men, can stay in the mirror too long. Uh, we all know the importance of going inward, um, taking an introspective dive into the years of trauma, emotional pain, um, that prohibits us from living freely in the present. However, um, especially for the good men, as men of the Most High um, as well, um, we tend to stay in the mirror too long, focusing only on what we need to do to improve instead of looking at the entire situation and helping others improve the situation as well. Uh, we often hear that, you know, it's important, uh, the most important thing in regards to uh, inner healing is the man in the mirror. I agree. It's very important that we look at ourselves first. However, um, I love uh, the scripture uh, when Yahushua or Jesus talked about, you know, don't, uh, what does it benefit you to look at the speck in your neighbor's eye when you have a plank in your own eye? He calls us a hypocrite, which would be hypocritical. However, he says, first remove the plank from your eye so that you can see clearly, basically to help the person remove the speck from theirs. He didn't say just stay in the mirror and focus only on, <coughs> excuse me, only on the plank in your eye. He says to remove the plank so that you can see clearly to help the other person remove the speck out their eye. So often when we, we have our own stuff in the way, we can't help anyone, which is true. However, what happens when we remove the plank, gentlemen? When we, get, we go to the counseling or psychotherapy, when we're becoming better husbands and fathers, we can't just stay in the mirror and not help our wives, our children become better individuals as well. Along this journey, along the path to healing, yes, look in the mirror but don't stay there the entire time. Once you're able to remove the plank, the problem, uh, whatever's causing conflict in your life or turmoil, and you see a speck in your wife's eye, your sister or whomever, or your best friend, your brother, say something. Don't just look at yourself like, well, they're probably acting that way because of something I did. Or she probably responded that way because I really don't know how to be a good husband because I didn't have a role model. That's what happens when we stay in the mirror because all we see is ourselves. For me, my first big step to healing was healing the father wound. Once I got that out my way, I was able to see clearly to communicate with my wife about the things that she was doing that made me feel unsafe to share my heart with her. So once I was able to get healed, uh, remove the, the words, the negative words and pronouncements my father spoke to me all those years and forgive him, I was able to take that plank out. I didn't want to stand in the mirror and keep working on some other stuff. I needed to deal with what caused that plank. So I dealt with my father. Now, what else was in that plank was my wife's words that sounded similar to my father's. She didn't mean to uh, tear me down, okay? That's just, that happens sometimes in arguments and we, we apologize, okay? That's why it's so important that you know your wife's intent, okay? It eliminates prolonged beef in your home. But a part of that plank, a piece of that plank was the words that my wife would say that sounded like something my father would say. Because I could never please my father. And so often I felt like I couldn't please my wife. And think the most high, I've learned how to be a verbal processor and express these emotions. So now my beautiful wife, Nicole, can remove the plank out of her eye and communicate with me in a way that allows me to communicate with her in a way where she doesn't have to be guarded. So I hope this um, short um, video encourages you. Again, 
You see it more often with the good men, especially the men of the Most High. We're always critiquing ourselves, trying to become better and better. And there is nothing wrong with that, gentlemen. However, when you stay in the mirror too long, you end up not helping others remove the specks out their eyes before it become, before that speck become a plank. Then you have marital discord, you name it, in your home, on the job, if you have a co-worker who offended you, okay? Now you, you got a speck in your eye and it's becoming a plank because you're not saying anything. So again, remove the plank. Once you remove the plank, get out the mirror and go help someone else remove their speck so that they can also see clearly and get healed. Shalom.